so here let's solve few problems on uh, relations so here is the question where we have to check if it is reflexive symmetric or transitive so here as the given non empty set contains elements from 1 to 14 and the given condition is r is the set of all ordered pair which satisfy this condition and the condition is 3x minus y is 0 so let's write down the elements of r with respect to the given condition so here we have to pick elements from the given non empty set so if i choose x as 1 what should be y to make it 0 if x is 1 3 into 1 is 3 minus y has to be 3 only then it will be 0 so if i choose x as 1 y has to be 3 so this is one element now let's uh, switch to another one if i put x is equal to 2 so 3 2 is 6 minus y has to be 6 to make it 0 so if i uh, choose x coordinate 2 y has to be 6 likewise you go on finding the other elements of the r so just think on your own if i choose 3 here if x is 3 if x is 3 this will be 3 3 is a 9 and then y has to be 9 y has to be 9 to make it 0 next element if i choose x as 4 if i choose x as 4 3 4 is a 12 minus y has to be 12 to make it uh, 0 now next is if I put x is equal to 5 so this will be 3 5 is a 15 minus y has to be 15 but do but can we do so do we have 15 in the given non empty set no we are restricted till 14 only so we cannot put x is equal to 5 here because to make it 0 we don't have 15 in the given non empty set so till here we will stop now let's check as now we have the elements of the relation in hand now one by one we will check if the relation is reflexive symmetric or transitive or not so if i see there are one two three up to 14 elements and for reflexivity each element should be related to itself so do we have the same case here no we don't have we don't have one related to one we don't have two related to two we don't have three related to three or any number we don't have uh, each element of the non empty set related to itself so it is not reflexive it is not reflexive why since for every a belonging to capital a a is not related to itself this is the reason we will give beside the step now let's see if it is symmetric <coughs> so for symmetric we have uh, the definition if a is related to b then b should be related to a that means for every ordered pair its reverse should also exist so do we have the same thing here see we have one three do we have three one no the first ordered pair itself is not having its reverse so we will stop here only only one such ordered pair is sufficient to prove it not symmetric or reflexive or transitive only one uh, such special case if we find or counter example we find from the given relation then we can directly declare that it is not symmetric it is not symmetric since 1 3 belongs to r but 3 1 does not belong to r this is the reason now let's check transitivity so for transitivity we see that uh, 1 3 is there okay and 3 9 is there but do we have 1 9 also because we know definition of transitivity if we have a b b c then a c must be there isn't it so do we have a c that means do we have 1 9 no we don't have 1 9 so one such combination is enough to disapprove or to decline the definition of any of the three so here it is neither transitive neither transitive and you can justify your uh, statement why it is not transitive since 1 3 belongs to r 3 9 belongs to r but 1 9 does not belong to r therefore it is not transitive it is not satisfying the definition of transitivity so this is how <coughs> this is how we uh, solve the problem based on relations now here one more important thing is in case 
A relation is such that it satisfies all the three relations, reflexive, symmetric, transitive. Then such relations are called equivalence relation. Such relations are called equivalence relation. If it is all the three, if it is, if it is reflexive, symmetric as well as transitive, then it is called equivalence relation. Remember this. Now next, let's uh, go to the next problem. Here the next problem is, let L be the set of all lines in a plane. In a plane we are talking about and the relation says that it is the set of all ordered pairs or it is the set of all pair of lines such that one line is parallel to the other. Now let's discuss it one by one. Let's discuss reflexivity, if it is reflexive or not. So for any line, if we choose any line on the plane, so is this line not parallel to itself? Yes, it is. So every line in plane is parallel to itself. Therefore, it is reflexive. It is, it is reflexive since every line in plane is parallel to itself. Is parallel to itself. So it is reflexive. Now let us consider symmetric case. Symmetric. In symmetric, what do we have? We have to consider two parallel lines. So let us consider these two parallel lines. So if this line is parallel to this line, is the reverse not true? Yes, the reverse is also true. If line L is parallel to line M, then line M is also parallel to line L. Therefore, it is symmetric. Yes, it is symmetric. It is very clear from the diagram itself. And then next, transitive. In transitive, what we do? We consider three lines. So let us consider uh, in transitive, let us consider line L is parallel to line M. Let us say this is line L and this is line M. And let us consider another pair, M parallel to M. Let us say this is M which is parallel to the line M. So since these two lines are parallel to the same line, so are, will they not be parallel? Yes. If two lines are parallel to the same line, then the other two lines are also parallel to one another. Therefore, it is transitive also. It is transitive also. Now the next question uh, is homework for you all that uh, prove that if the relation is reflexive, symmetric or transitive or not, if the lines are perpendicular to each other. The same question, I am manipulating a bit. R is the set of pair of lines such that L1 is perpendicular to L2. Solve this and discuss or check the, uh, check all the three properties if they are reflexive, symmetric or transitive or not. If the lines are perpendicular to each other. So again, you have to think on the same line that if a line, if one line is there, so is the same line perpendicular to itself? I hope you got the answer. So in that way, you have to think for all the three relations and then you have to discuss. Now here, very important thing is difference between reflexive relation and there is one new relation which I was talking about that we have two more uh, relations which sometimes come in exam for one mark. Uh, that is identity relation and there is a very minor difference between the reflexive and identity relation so let me discuss that with you uh, reflexive and identity relation difference reflexive and identity relation difference so here as we know in reflexive relation we have flexibility to have extra elements also like uh, other than uh, uh, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, we can have extra elements also. But in identity relation, but in identity relation, we are very much restricted to only, to only those elements. We are very much uh, restricted to those elements only in identity. Identity and reflexive relation is, identity is the subset of reflexive relation. 
because reflexive may have extra elements extra elements but identity cannot have any extra element for a given non empty set having one two three element identity relation means it is strictly having one one two two three three only then it is identity if it contains any other extra ordered pair like two three or three one from the cartesian product of this with itself then it will no more be an identity relation but a reflexive relation so it is very clear it is very clear that reflexive relation may have extra elements than identity relation because identity relation will have exactly a a belonging to r for every a belonging to the given non empty set no extra element there should not exist a b belonging to r for identity keep this in mind for identity so for this it is strictly having only these three elements and hence this is the relation we have between these two types of uh, relations which are closely related only the difference is it is much more restricted compared to this it is very restri restricted it has some flexibility so till now we have seen what is relation relation is the it, uh, relation is the subset of the cartesian product of two non empty set or a given non empty set and uh, also we have seen different types of relations reflexive symmetric transitive its definition we have seen and if a relation satisfies all the three relations then it is called equivalence relation and if the relation is equivalence only then we can talk about equivalence class equivalence class we will discuss in next lecture so also we have seen relation between identity and reflexive that identity relation is the subset of reflexive relation identity has strictly related identical ordered pairs only so these are all what we have discussed with along with few examples and one example as homework which you have to think and from ncert exercise you can uh, solve remaining questions or whatever problems are given to you and you can contact me for any of your doubts thank you